Hi, welcome to this presentation about the psychometric properties of NeuroQual instruments. This is the second of two presentations on this topic. Here we will focus on validity and responsiveness. A valid measure assesses what it is supposed to measure. So a happiness test measures happiness, not energy. If we think of it in terms of shooting arrows, then a valid arrow means you hit what you want to hit, the bullseye. There are different ways to assess validity. One way is to show that a new measure correlates with established measures of the same construct. This is known as convergent validity. This is an example of convergent validity of NeuroQual measures for stroke patients. We assess the convergent validity between NeuroQual and external measures using Spearman correlations. We expected weaker relations between measures of dissimilar constructs and stronger associations between measures of similar or identical ones. The pattern of relationship shown here provides initial evidence of validity. However, showing validity is an ongoing process and we expect additional evidence as other investigators use NeuroQual. We also looked at convergent validity across disease groups. This graph shows convergent validity of the two NeuroQual adult physical function measures in terms of their correlations with the Barthel index. The Barthel is a measure of basic mobility and self-care activities of daily living. Another way to examine validity is to see if a measure differentiates people categorized into groups known to differ on a similar construct. We use scores on the EQ5D to divide people into no, moderate, or severe levels of anxiety groups. Average T-scores on the NeuroQual anxiety measures were significantly different for each group both at baseline and after six months. Now we are going to talk about another important property of PRO measures, responsiveness. Responsive measures show change when a real change has occurred. One way to assess change is to ask people to rate how much they have changed over a specific period of time. We use people's global rating of change to categorize them as feeling better, the same, or worse. This graph shows the responsiveness of several NeuroQual measures compared to some other measures given at the same time. This graph shows the responsiveness of several NeuroQual measures compared to some other measures given at the same time. The standardized response mean, SRM, is one of several available effect size indices used to gauge the responsiveness of scales to clinical change. So these graphs show how the measures performed in terms of standardized response mean. As you can see, these particular NeuroQual measures demonstrated better responsiveness than some of the legacy measures. This ends the presentation on NeuroQual validity and responsiveness. More detailed information on these psychometric properties of NeuroQual measures can be found in the NeuroQual Final and Technical Report, available on the NeuroQual website. Thank you. This work has been supported through the National Institute for Neurological Disorders and Stroke.